I think for analysts and fund managers, it's very important to be able to communicate with lots of different people with different levels of knowledge. Uh, obviously, the most important people are the clients, the people with the money, uh, and that can be either the direct client or the financial intermediary, the wealth manager, for example, or discretionary fund manager, uh, where, in, in a sense, you need to be able to talk to him or her and then get them to be able to communicate clearly what you want to communicate to their ultimate client. Usually, these people are very well informed, uh, very experienced, and there's a need for what I'll call adult-to-adult -adult communication. Not spin, not a story, but actually a frank sort of admission of what you're doing, what went well, what went badly, what are the challenges, what are the risks. So I think the most important aspect is to understand the needs of the people on the other side, to think what's important for them, to be respectful of the time, and to give them uh, information, not marketing, not spin, but information. Some of that information will be negative, but I think you can build a long-term reputation by giving full information uh, as much as possible so that they actually understand the subtleties and, and in a sense develop a history with you in going through good times and bad times. For most fund managers and analysts, it's important to have a client base that is able to endure pain as well as success. Because if they're unable to endure pain, you may have a very good idea that temporarily goes against you. If the clients then depart, you'll never have the client's money around to invest to actually win with that idea. So you need clients who are well-informed, patient, and able to understand what you do. And that requires regular communication. That could be everything from the annual and quarterly newsletters to weekly blogs to occasional emails just saying something's changed in my fund or my markets and here's why. And, and, and that requires uh, agility, open-mindedness uh, and, and a broad use of media. Sometimes there are people who need to communicate information to who will be less knowledgeable and less experienced. And I think that's where it's important to summarize information into one or two key points to make it factually correct. Uh, but to get to the key points, not to demonstrate how much you know or not to broadcast hours and hours of information, but to get meaningful sort of key, key messages across. So I, I'm a big fan of communication. I think fund managers should spend a large proportion of the time communicating because it can actually help their investment returns if they end up with well-informed, patient uh, clients.